you know, it helps if I turn on the lav mic because, you know, audio comes through and can be recorded if I turn it on. Oh yeah, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a mic on the Canon M5. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you guys probably came here to see how to set up a shotgun mic or any external mic to the Canon M5. I'm going to be setting up this uh, Canon M5 to the Rode Video Mic. The methods that I use to set up the mic to the Canon M5 is the same with any other mic. You can use the Rode Video Mic Pro, you can use this Techstar SGC598, or you can use the brand new Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. Uh, nothing sponsored, but let's get started, shall we? So this is the easiest step. You put the mic onto the hot shoe mount, like so. You tighten it down, if your mic tightens down. See this little thing right here? You open it up, and plug your mic in. Oh yeah, so that's the hardware setup. Let's jump into the camera. Okay guys, we're in the camera right here. Let's start by pressing the menu button. After you press the menu button, make sure you're in the camera menu. You can use the D-pad to scroll around, or you can use a touch screen. But what we're going to do is scroll over or touch page number 8. Oh yeah, a microphone like the VideoMic Pro has a couple options. You can turn it on, or you can have a high pass filter, or you can have 0, negative 10, or plus 20. For cameras like this, leave it on plus 20. If you're shooting a DSLR or, you know, this Canon M5 or any mirrorless camera, you want to have the mic set at the highest it can go. This way, the microphone outputs the highest level of audio. In turn, you don't have to set your level so high and create a lot of noise and hiss in the audio. Your audio will sound better. Trust me. If you use a mic like the Techstar, it doesn't have plus 20, but the highest can go is plus 10, which is still very good. Shameless plug, but this is a great mic for under $30. I'll leave you a link to the video up there if you're interested for a shotgun mic. It's really good. But yes, let's get back into the menu. Okay guys, keep in mind, if you're using a vlogging mic or a shotgun mic, it picks up sound best what it's pointed at. But anyway, Let's go into the sound recording menu here. As you can see, default is auto. And for our external mic, we're going to have it on manual. If you look at the bar graph down below, you can see the bar graph goes to where I am talking. The goal to get this graph is to, generally you want negative 12. As you can see, this is a good level right now. I am pointing the mic towards me and it makes it really easy with the flip down screen. You can have the mic pointed at you at many different directions, but make sure the mic is pointed at you if you're vlogging. If you are not doing this for vlogging, then have the mic pointed at wherever your, your source is. But usually what I do for vlogging is set it and forget it. Okay guys, so let me show you way too hot of a signal. This is way too hot. See, the more you go up here, the more you see red and you don't want to see red and it's very hot and it'll be hissy and noisy. So the goal is to keep it really low. I prefer mine in the quarter at least or below. And I do something like in right here. This is a really good level. One, two, three, testing one, two, three. You can see I'm a little hot at the, um, a little above negative 12, but then again, I am like three inches away from this mic recording this video. So this is vlogger length right here. As you can see, I'm holding it at a vlogger length, where you can't see, you, you can hear. I'm holding it at like, you know, arm length, and this is a really good level right here. Oh yeah! Okay guys, there you go. Press set to confirm. The wind filter and attenuator, we really don't need this, but if you're a real professional and you want full control over the audio, leave it off. If you want, uh, you know, it to be on all the time, press on. As you can see, it 
uh, squashes my my no- sound sound check check one two one two yeah uh huh this is a uh, a little overkill in most situations I usually leave it on auto because if you're like outside and the wind picks up or if you're recording something really loud it'll attenuate the signal or bring down the signal enough so it doesn't clip or crackle or pop and all that. I leave it on auto for most of my vlogs. It's a really good safety net. Well, there you have it, guys. This is setting up the mic inside the Canon M5. Let's go back into the studio. Let's quickly compare the mics between the external mic to the internal mics of the Canon M5. Oh yeah! This is the audio from the Canon M5 with a Rode Video Mic Pro mounted above. Yeah, that's this mic. Oh yeah! Audio test one two three. Testing one two three. So, as you can see, I'm wearing a lav mic, but that's the mic that's going into the into the what is this called? A sixty Mark II. Let's uh take off this mic and I'll show you what. It sounds like with internal mics. Yes, one more thing. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but make sure to put it back to automatic. If you leave it on manual with your external mic settings, the audio from the internal mics is gonna be really low and you're gonna be hurting in post because you're gonna have to boost it so high, you're gonna boost noise and hiss with it. But there you go, automatic. Let me have you guys hear the internal M5 audio. This is the audio from the Canon M5 internal mics. Don't forget, change it back to automatic. Oh yeah. Yes. What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think about uh, internal mics of the M5 and the external mic comparison? Leave me a comment down below, what do you think? Or, you know, the comment section in my page is always open to any questions, so if you have any questions about how to set up a mic to the M5 or any other mirrorless camera, leave them down below, guys. Another thing, another thing. So, the Canon M5 has a flip-down screen. I used to shoot all my videos with the Canon M6. I was really heavy into the Canon M6, and I really do love the camera and I miss it, but this is one of the perks of the M5. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you like it, if it helped you at all. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I do, you know, tech videos. I'm kind of Canon fam over here, so if you're Canon fam, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace out. Comment down below if you like this video and, you know, got questions and all that, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah.